Apache Contractor is a software tool to support the Design by Contract programming methodology in the Java programming language. Design by Contract is a way of designing computer programs in which the programmer describes the operation of the system through formal contracts. Design by Contract was proposed by Dr. Bertrand Meyer and is a key feature of the Eiffel programming language created by Dr. Meyer. Contracts are expressed as Boolean statements that must hold true at certain points during program execution. Contracts can be checked at runtime to ensure that the system is operating correctly. Contracts are similar to assertions supported by some programming languages, but provide more powerful features to express assumptions in an object-oriented system. To understand the idea of contracts, it helps to think of software components as if they were people. In the real world, whenever two people interact, there is either an implicit or an explicit contract governing the interaction. For example, suppose I go to a fruit stand to buy an apple. We could say that the precondition to this transaction is that I have a dollar and that the fruit seller has an apple. If either of these things is not true, then the transaction cannot continue. We could say that the postcondition is that I now have an apple and the fruit seller has my dollar. If either of these statements is not true, then something has gone wrong. To apply this concept to software, consider a function that transfers money between bank accounts. A precondition to transferring money might be that the amount to transfer is greater than zero, and also that from account contains enough money to satisfy the transfer. After the transfer has occurred, then the to account must contain at least the amount of money transferred. These statements might seem obvious, but as anyone who's programmed a computer knows, what the programmer meant is not always what the code does, especially in a complex system. Making the contracts explicit not only adds documentation to the system, but allows the contracts to be checked at runtime to ensure that the program is doing what the author intended. JContractor allows a programmer to express contracts as methods in a class. Take a simple example that implements the transfer method that we looked at in the last slide. The precondition and postcondition can be written as methods that return Boolean values and follow a simple naming convention. When a program is run using JContractor, JContractor instruments the program bytecode as it is loaded into the Java Virtual Machine. JContractor adds code to check contracts at runtime. This is configurable, so contracts can be enabled during development and then disabled in a production system to avoid the performance overhead of contract checking. Let's look at how contracts work in our bank account example. Suppose we create two account objects, one with a balance of $10 and the other with a balance of $0. When we attempt to transfer $5 from my account to your account, JContractor will first check the precondition. The precondition passes because the account has enough money to satisfy the transfer. After transferring the funds, JContractor checks the postcondition. Your account now contains $5, so the postcondition passes. Now let's transfer another $8 from my account to yours. JContractor checks the precondition. Now we have a problem because the account does not contain enough money to satisfy the request. So the precondition is violated, and JContractor halts the program with an error message. When JContractor instruments a function, it inserts code to check pre- and post-conditions. JContractor actually manipulates the compiled Java bytecode, but the instrumentation is shown here in source code for simplicity. The JContractor implementation is described fully in a paper that I wrote with Dr. Murat Kar Orman. The software is open source and is available from SourceForge. For more information on Design by Contract, see Dr. Meyer's book, Object-Oriented Software Construction, and the Eiffel Software website, eiffel.com.